and everything is in place, then it could be permitted and they could be serving beer as early as June 19th. You heard it right. A vendor could soon sell alcohol at Neyland and Thompson Bowling if Knoxville leaders approve the application. Aramark is the vendor. It filed the paperwork with the city to sell alcohol at the stadium and arena during special events. That application is on the agenda for the beer board next week. We'd like to hear what you think. Is it a good idea to sell alcohol at special events in Neyland Stadium and or Thompson Bowling Arena? You can vote right now at WBIR.com. And while you do, tenure supporter Stephanie Haynes spoke to the beer board chair made up of city council members. And that chair says the approval is the last step, Stephanie. John George Wallace, like you said, is the chairman of the beer board and also a city councilman. He says if the council approves the application next Tuesday, the vendor could sell alcohol on Wednesday. But he says they've got questions about how that vendor will make sure it serves alcohol properly. When it comes to getting a beer permit, Neyland and Thompson Bowling have to go through the same process as everyone else. It is a pretty rigorous process to get a beer permit. Earlier this year, state law allowed alcohol sales at the venues for special events. UT's vendor Aramark submitted applications to sell alcohol and now they are on the beer board agenda. City Councilman George Wallace is the chairman of the beer board, which is made up of each of the nine city council members. He said applicants have to first pass a background check, then take a class on alcohol sales and safety, and then pass several inspections. He says it's about a 30 day process, but making the beer board agenda is the home stretch. If everything is in place and they they filled out the permit right, the application, everything is ready, they've done everything asked for, then it could be permitted and they could be serving beer as early as June 19th. But Wallace says he doesn't necessarily think it'll be a shoe in. He says he thinks the council will have questions about policy. How are you going to ID? So you got a lot of people that are underage that are going to be mixing with people of age. How are you going to identify someone to sell beer? Is it going to be a wristband? They'll have to have a policy. And the vendor will have to share that policy with the beer board. Aramark's applications do include an alcohol service compliance plan, which includes policies like server training and licensing and not allowing more than two drinks per transaction. The beer board meeting is on Tuesday and keep in mind these applications indicate they are for special events. Last month, the SEC lifted its ban on alcohol at games beginning August 1st and UT says it's still evaluating its next steps for that. John Stephanie, thank you.